This is John with Washam Development again. Uh, if you've been following this series, we've kind of gotten everything rigged up here uh, so that we're able to uh, use a Windows Forms app to just quickly be able to see what Skia Sharp is outputting. It makes things really easy to do testing. Um, so we've talked over the basic concepts. We have drawn a blue circle onto the canvas and had that output to a picture box in our app that opens up. So the next thing that is really cool to be able to do is to draw text onto a canvas. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. We actually use the same SK Paint um, that we used with the circle. It's the same idea with the text is that you were defining the properties of that paintbrush, how it's actually going to um, draw out the text onto your canvas. So let's uh, choose a color, so SK Colors. And we'll make this one into green. Uh, most of the time you are going to want it anti-aliased uh, so that it's not all jagged. You've got another property on here that is, f uh, sorry, not font size, text size. So we'll make this uh, big enough we can easily see it. Okay, I mean, that's as simple as you can get as far as the paint. Um, another thing that we want to go ahead, uh, and again, you want to use these using blocks so that all of these things get disposed of uh, automatically makes it a lot easier. Um, another thing, if uh, if you're wanting to write out in a font, you've got to have an SK typeface. So um, the easiest way, since we're just keeping it ultra, ultra simple right now, let's use a system font that we know is going to be here. So you can do SK typeface dot from family name. And let's just use like career new since we know that's going to be installed on this computer already. Uh, we can talk about custom fonts at another time. There is a way you can download uh, font files like TTFs, OTFs, etc. and actually draw using that font um, with an SK typeface. Really, really cool that you can do that kind of stuff using this. So um, again, the uh, if you're going to draw on the canvas, so let's do canvas dot and then it's draw text. Okay, so then what do you want it uh, to say? Let's just say, uh, hello world, that's more fun. Uh, we want to say at what point on this canvas do we want to draw on? Let's do uh, 50 and 50, and then what paintbrush do we want to use to draw the text onto there? So that's it. Let's open this up and we should see, there you go, hello world written onto our canvas. So that is as simple as it is to start drawing with text onto a canvas. Uh, in the next video we'll go ahead and look at downloading an image from the internet and then we will uh, go ahead and draw that onto a canvas as well.